according to Koisha, aka Koshia, if you want it, you can get it. Yeah, but that's not how she said it, though. She said it like this. If you want it, you can get it. <sighs> Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about Own Network's reality-based TV series, Ready to Throw Hands, I mean, Ready to Love, season number nine, episode number four. This week, Tommy convenes the ladies in the ladies' lounge to give them their assignments since they have the power to eliminate the guys this week. That assignment, take these guys on a, out on dates and get to know them on a deeper level. Let them know what does intimacy look like to you. Yeah. He told them one of the rules, the major one, is whatever happens in the lawn stays in the lawn. Tommy also threw the ladies a curve. The ladies meet just... Justin. And Justin is a PE teacher. Mm -hmm. He was raised in Mississippi. 34 years old. Uh, he is not into the dating scene. And he seems like a pleasant man. And the ladies perked up once they saw him, particularly Patrice and Rashina. She, she thought that he looked tasty, you could tell. I thought I saw a little bit of drool coming out yeah, of the corner there, of her mouth. There, there was. Mm. There was drool coming out of the corner of her mouth. Mm. Lamar, uh, Will, and Machina. And they were invited to a group date by Alexis. Yes, and Le Alexis said she wanted the, them to get to know her. She evidently um, does some sort of refereeing. She got a little game, so she wanted to show it off because she's got a sports side to her, and she wanted to... Hoop it up a little bit. They broke up into groups. Mm -hmm. William was talking to Alexis, and she said that she and uh, William had a, a vibe going on. Yeah, and, a little bit of chemistry going on there, mm -hmm. at least from her vantage point, right? Right, and she asked him about his past. He mm -hmm. talked about he was married, but he didn't get married for the right reasons. Yes. So um, it was a mistake, and... Mm -hmm. He gives himself grace mm -hmm. for it. And I guess she was appreciative that he was candid. In the meantime, Lamar and Will talk to Rashina. Mm -hmm. And um, it seems like Will wanted Rashina to make a choice between the two men that she was conversing with. And she's like, nah. The question uh, in their group was, you know, what does intimacy look like to you? Yeah. And Will said, if I'm not mistaken, Intimacy starts and or begins with my relationship with God. Yeah. Uh, and Lamar said he's a sexual being. Uh, his language for intimacy is to call the woman or text the woman to find out the color of her underwear. He was really talking more about the sex stuff. Rashina, she said in her confessional that she is not feeling either of them. She wants to keep it moving, and she moved to Justin because she invited him out on a date, mm -hmm. and he brought his dog, and she brought her dog. Right, thanks to a little tip that she got from Tommy. Justin was uh, an attractive man. She liked his personality. She liked his conversation. Justin has no kids. And uh, he's okay with not having any kids. Leyland requests a meeting with Tommy in the ladies' lounge because she's got uh, some advice that she's in search of. Well, what Leyland really wanted to tell Tommy is that she is going to be leaving the process. She claimed that there was some sort of family emergency. So Tommy decides to give Leyland the week off from the process. So she can make a decision whether she wants to stay or whether she wants to leave. The next date up was a date at Chaz's house. Right, involving Vanessa, Koshia, Alonzo, and Patrice. So Patrice giving Chaz a, a massage while Vanessa is eyeballing them. Justin uh, showed up at Chaz's house and he didn't know who was coming through his door. And we come to find out that Patrice invited Justin to the set and she clearly didn't tell the host that a stranger was coming by. Like he... Need to throw the flag on that one. Alonzo pulled Koshia into the kitchen and had a meeting with her. He apologized for getting off on the wrong foot with uh, Koshia conversationally last time they met. 
and he just wanted to make sure that she understood that, that he was sincere about that apology. She accepted his apology. She said she had no ill will against him. Alonso and Patrice in the kitchen, and he's telling her about some movie that he wants her to watch. And they made plans for a movie date. Patrice mentioned in her confessional that she really likes Alonso. He's at the top of her list. Alonzo told her that she is still his top pick. So I imagine they're getting along very well. Yeah, and it seemed like the uh, evening went well for pretty much everybody involved. And then after, after the guests left, Chaz and Vanessa got a chance to kind of spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. Chaz said that he was glad that Vanessa was there at his house. Both of them were giving each other the googly eyes and she was grinning and skinning and they looked like they were connecting very well. They seem to be carrying this uh, connection someplace. Yes. Reminded me of high school. So if you liked a girl back in the day, what would you do? Would you grin and skin? More or less, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's like high school. Mm -hmm. They're not talking, but they're grinning and skinning. Yeah, I wasn't other. trying to holler. Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't good at that. Uh, wasn't good at that. I was just grinning, grinning and skinning. Maya said that she has been checking out the guy, so now it's the time to go deep in conversation. And she invited Lamont to come through because she had a photo shoot. Evidently, she's an entrepreneur. And Lamar came through. And Lamar immediately does what Lamar does, turn the conversation to a sexual nature. After, what is the freakiest thing that you ever did in high school? And whether she lost her virginity on her prom night. And he said he did, he started laughing. What makes him think that she's just automatically gonna divulge that kind of information to him and that she's even comfortable to do so uh, at this point in time, at this stage of the process? Well, she looked at him like he had four heads, and that was the end of that. Maya, Mika, Jonathan, and Laurent, they All on a group date. Yeah, and they mm -hmm. met up for a drink. Right, right. And, of course, they're chit-chatting um, about the experience and all so that far, stuff. So far, right, and, and, and somehow it came out... And enjoying it Right, so well. right, and somehow it came out that the perception was that LeVon was a party boy. Yes, and he said he does a little more than Like, nah, than that. nah, y'all got me all wrong. Huh? Right, so he has a little more depth than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. thankfully so. Mm -hmm. and, and then the question came up about when the last relationship that uh, either one of uh, that both him and Jonathan had, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and he said... The, the previous other, September. And Jonathan said that the last relationship he had was with his ex-wife. And Mika... Yeah, she chimed in and she, said, wait a minute. She seemed like she was surprised that he was married. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why, simply because the ladies, some of the ladies in the group knew that he was married and was divorced. That's why I thought it weird that she would refer to his ex-wife as the baby mama. Mm -hmm. She said that she did not know that and she wanted to find out a little more about their relationship. Right, but then she began to project as far as I was concerned because she because she didn't know that bit of information, she kind of more or less labeled him as being sneaky. Sneaky. And I didn't think that, that was fair at all for no. one. And two, I'm like thinking to myself, is she kind of labeling or stereotyping this brother uh, you know based on all the men that she's had bad experiences that, with that would be in, yes in the lead up to this that would, particular moment that, that would be yes because that's certainly how it came off on camera started asking him more questions and he told her i do not want to talk about my history i prefer to talk about you right and getting to know you and getting to know and who you are and i i don't know why she didn't understand that the reason why he didn't choose to reveal that bit of information with uh, 
Mika initially was because he has to protect himself. He doesn't know her. Mm -hmm. And he just wants to reveal that kind of thing once he's gotten to know somebody. Ron and Maya got a chance to also chop it up with one another. And they were connecting. Right. And they were both really connected in terms of similar interests. You know, LaJuan is looking for a mate to become a power couple, and uh, Maya certainly is. Yes. In fact, in a confessional, she said she's feeling Laurent. Opportunity for the ladies to reconvene at the ladies' lounge and uh, convey to Tommy what happened throughout the course of the week. Leland looked at what was out there. The pickings are slim to none. And she decided that... The exit you know, stays left even. She... She can, do, she can do that all by herself. Mm -hmm. Tommy wanted to find out who's liking who this week. Who's connecting with who. And Patrice said Alonzo is her dude. Mm -hmm. Maya said that... Laron. Laron. Mm -hmm. She's feeling him. Mm -hmm. uh, Koshia said um, Laron as well. All right, right. She don't think he's a party boy. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do mm -hmm. as a single man. Mm -hmm. But Laron is all right with her. Right. Look, Rashina's feeling Justin. I guess yes. it must have been the dog walk at the park. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Maika or Mika? She still likes uh, Dominic. Dominic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we haven't seen a whole lot of him. No, we didn't see that. But she's still feeling. We didn't him. see that much of him this yeah. time. Let's go around. Alexis is feeling Will, mm -hmm. and of course Shaz, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who are they not feeling? Yep. Well, Mika is not feeling Jonathan, is? Maya is not feeling uh, Lamar. Uh, neither is Alexis. Neither is Alexis. Mm -hmm. Neither is uh, Koshia mm -hmm. or Rashid. Yeah, Koshia is not feeling Will either. And Koshia is not feeling Will. And neither is Patrice. And neither is Patrice. Mm -hmm. And this is where the, um, I guess, ladies' lounge took a turn. This is where they say. got turned up. Because Koshia said she heard that Alexis was taking the information she gleaned from the ladies' responses and was letting Will know what they were talking about. Yeah. And Alexis, instead of addressing what Koshia said, um, she implied that Koshia is having a problem with all the men. They're coming at her in a sexual way. They're coming at her in a... Sideways. Way. The right. men not talking up to her like that, and I beg to differ. We saw she and Jonathan engaging in a sexually uh, charged conversation about him sucking her toes and where it would lead to. So her saying that the men are not coming at her like that it was not an accurate statement. What, one of the things I wonder is this. Why is Alexis concern about how the guys are coming at Koshia. I have no idea. Why is that her business? I have no idea. She said that uh, she told Will that he doesn't need to have anyone label him as a pervert. This is when Maika spoke up and said nobody called him a pervert. Right. So she is putting some some edges and nails and glass and shards in the in, in, the, in the mustard, mm -hmm. and she is flinging it out at Koshia. So Koshia, a card carrying member, and I believe Alexis is too, based on her thing, said that if you want it, you can get it. And Alexis said, well, hey, if you feel like that, let's go outside. So, and Tommy was saying, hey, you don't have to do that. Shia, with all her bits and all the pieces, I'm going to put my money on her. Okay, and then, on. Because Koshia did remind Alexis that it's not her fault. She looks like a 12-year-old boy. So I'm not sure whether she really wants to go outside with uh, an experienced member of the club, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like evaluation of yes, the scenario of the, of the of situation, situation that is unfolding, the foolishness. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. when you 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 really cut it apart and spread it wide open, it was foolishness. And it was instigated by Alexis, as far as I'm concerned. And she really mixed that up, didn't she? Yeah, she kind of showed a different side of her that uh, I'm hoping that uh, you know people are paying attention to. Her. Certainly, the other ladies are. But I'm hoping that the guys may uh, may be you know, aware of that as well. So anyway, Tommy squashed that one without even getting up on it from his seat, which I think is always interesting. Tommy had to remind the group that you know everyone is here, all the ladies are here. Their journeys are going to be separate Different. and aside from their their other cast members. But what you should do? Yeah, mind your own business. She's the referee. Uh, she's the referee. She got to know when to throw the flag when someone is out of position. Or blow the whistle. Since she was a basketball referee, that she committed a technical foul. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I ain't never seen a ref throw a uh, ref uh, give a, uh, blow the whistle and give a technical foul on their damn self. You're talking about you've never seen it. You just saw it. No, nah, I've never seen it on the basketball floor. Let me qualify what I said. Oh, okay. You're going to blow the whistle and then give yourself a technical foul. Lord have mercy. Mm. In any event, I believe it was um, Alexis that met with Will mm -hmm. and Poshia mm -hmm. met with Lamar. And when, uh, when uh, I, I think it was Lamar... Met with Koshi, like, oh, wait a minute, something was up. He came through with some roses, mm -hmm. but and he had on a shirt with roses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, what this is wrong right with here. this clown? So he sat down eating his salad because he know that Hammer is getting ready to drop. But while Alexis is meeting with Will, and mm -hmm. she tells him that uh the women believe he's coming with too much sexual energy too soon she said that patrice had a conversation with him mm -hmm. because he was showing some houses and evidently he said he was tired and was getting ready to lay down on the floor mm -hmm. and patrice took that and thought that he was a scrub yeah it was just inappropriate but, thing to do right mm -hmm. and she was out of line for doing that okay. as well okay because, she, again, she don't know him. Maybe she misunderstood what he was saying. I think that's probably more what was going on there. Because he got hot yeah, by... Yeah, he, he, was a, he was a little, how do you say, irritated? Yeah. He annoyed? Was, he was, salty? Yeah. He, he, all of that. Mm-hmm. Attitude. And, and she tried to bring him off the edge, but he mm -hmm. said next time he sees someone, he going to, you know, put it in their face. And make them look stupid. Yeah, he needs to let that go. He said, oh, it's war. And I was surprised when he said that. This, in the, in a brother, this stuff is a misunderstanding. It's not war. That's a red flag for me. She has said, well, hey, dude, um, the women wash their hands of you because you're a little bit extra. You're not for everyone. And everyone includes the group of them. Yeah. Translation. You ain't ready. Because she started telling him. Keep it prof professional. It, it go well for you that you're going to find. And he told her to change her tone. It was getting on his nerves. So she got up and said, okay, good night. Took out with the So she was, she was on her way. And his pretty ass was like, can I have some flowers back? There's a whole lot of clubs in Fort Worth. He Trying to let everybody know that he's arrived. Yeah. Okay. And he, he, Party starts with him. Yeah, the party will start with him. I I hope he got some money. Popping bottles and cheap.